So um, we've just come back from a meeting with uh, the team's representative, CPA, Commissaires. We had uh, Xavier Bigard from the UCI on the phone, the chief medical officer. Um, we've assessed and discussed the situation. It's obviously uh, not nice. Uh, we're very sad that uh, the corona is spreading so far within the teams. Um, all the teams know the rules. Four teams have decided to withdraw, including the one yesterday. So we will only be 18 teams today, but uh, all the remaining teams agreed to uh, start. And there is no further decisions on today's stage. We will uh, reassess tomorrow morning uh, and obviously hope that uh, we don't have many more cases. Uh, but for the moment, we keep going in the race uh, as, as planned with the teams that remain. Do you have a certain amount of teams that you still need to continue the race tomorrow? No, there's no specific rule on that. Um, there, is, uh, there is rules within the teams which they have to follow. But for us as an organizer, there's no rule who says when we have to stop. Obviously, at a certain point when the sporting relevance is not, uh, not here anymore, that's something we will have to, have to discuss. But uh, for the moment, with 18 teams... Uh, it's, uh, we believe it's still, still an open and, and real race and, and we will keep going. Is it your fear that you won't make it to Liechtenstein with this uh, Tour de Suisse? Well, it's obviously <laughs> something that we, uh, yeah, that, that is something we are thinking about. We're trying to prevent it, obviously. Um, it's, it's a balance between the safety of the, the riders involved, uh, the whole event, our staff, uh, everyone that is involved with the Tour de Suisse. I think it's, it's, it's a very difficult uh, balance to find for the moment. And that's also why we spoke with all the stakeholders. We believe we, we are still at, uh, in the right situation to keep going, but we will have to reassess tomorrow morning and take it day by day. Thank you.